Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. <laughs> nice catch there, hon. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. Hey, eyes on the road, mister. Oh. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. 
Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. What? You're not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay. okay? Yes. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm going to go check it out. Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. too weird.
you. Hey, why are you shouting? What? No, but I heard something. Let's just get out of here. Come on! Oh God, I thought you said you checked it! I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out! It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal! You didn't see it! It was a woman! No, or this isn't helping, all right? Go! There we go! We're good, see? Please just get us out of here. Okay. Max! I'm trying, I'm trying. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh, ah! fuck. Oh my God, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, was well, she bumped her head? Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. You folks want to tell me what happened here? Uh, well, we were just driving and it's really, really dark out here. And um, I don't know, we, we must have hit like a, a pothole or something because we swerved and now here we are. I mean, these roads are really not in great shape. Yeah. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We were just taken in the sights, officer. Is that a crime? Ma'am, I'm gonna take it by the tone of your voice that you were unaware that this is an open season hunting zone until tomorrow. Oh, shit. Uh... No, didn't know that. <laughs> we were kind of lost, actually. 
What is your intended destination? We're headed up to Hackett's Quarry. Hmm. Not the camp. It's a free place to stay, so, yeah. You're not gonna make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Okay, so we are right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to vehicle, ma'am. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Oh, you need like Have a, a statement? good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? Thanks for all your help, though, back there. What is that supposed to mean? You were shaking like a broken washing machine. I could have used a little backup. I mean, he clearly liked you better. Well, I'm very likable. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing you. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? 
I got like 20 years before I'm a man. Mm hmm. What? I, 20 is debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned? I'll beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get some help. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, wh what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So, someone's trapped. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful.
Max? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> My friend, welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes and terrifying, but if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. 
This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover, on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. 